Can be do, last name pronounced do, like a deer, a doe, a female deer. I never knew the significance of my name. It never even crossed my mind to code what it means and how it resonates with my body. But all I knew was I went by Tammy Doe. It wasn't about last year, around September, when I started getting glimpses and bits and pieces of, you know, this feeling, this pull of what you're supposed to do in life, like your life purpose, a fact if you choose to follow it or not. So during that time, I got vivid dreams and visions to go work with crystals, not just any crystal, but powerful crystals such as Moldavite. So I got my first piece of Moldavite around November time and I made it into this wire wrap necklace, which I was so excited to have. So I was always having on me, not knowing how powerful it was. Fast forward to February 3rd, 2019. It was actually earlier this year. And I'll never, I'll never forget this day. It was Super Bowl Sunday. Me and two friends were on the way back from the largest gem show once a year in Arizona. At that point in time, like I had already decided that I'm gonna leave the financial and insurance world. I was a financial for seven years. I was just so miserable seeing the greed and corruption seeing with my own eyes and I couldn't I couldn't just sit still with it. it bothered me so much where I was like okay forget it like I'm gonna let my licenses lapse and just go work with stones making handmade jewelry not knowing how my life would unfold this past year February 3rd we were on the way back from Arizona we had 10 hours left and I remember this moment it's like 7 a.m. in the morning around that time and I took a picture of the sunrise and I was like wow like okay I already got my 70 stones that's all I could afford because Moldavite is not cheap right that's I racked up all my money to buy these 70 stones and then we had some other crystal quartz in the car not knowing how powerful how much energy it was in the car driving down this empty stretch on an 80 mile per hour road we weren't speeding that was the speed limit and then all of a sudden a deer jumped out and collided with the car, totaling the entire hood of the car. When I go back to the video of my car at the junkyard, I could see a hole punctured in, I believe it's from the horn of the deer, into the front windshield of the car. Now if the accident would have happened any other way, like or the deer would have punctured in, broke, broke the windshield, honestly I don't know who would have died and who would have survived. I'm getting goosebumps as I'm sharing about this experience. All three of us stepped away, walked out of the car with not even a single scratch. And when I share with you these images of the car accident, even go visiting my doctor, they were surprised at how, how all three of us managed to survive this wreck. As I'm like trying to figure out what the heck is going on, like, I thought, oh God, this is such bad luck. Or here I am, I really have no money. All my money left is here in the stones and now I don't even have a car. And then it dawned on me, what are the chances of my name being Tammy Doe at a pivotal point in my life where I chose, I decided to leave my old life behind as a financial advisor and go work with crystals. What you also don't know is my middle name is named Ngao. In Vietnamese, it means crystals. Today's episode, I'm gonna share with you what I pieced together as my as I take the seven months in Vietnam, going down the spiritual path, working with crystals, and what I was able to tune in and seeing my entire name play out. Hopefully you can piece the piece together and figure out what your name means. Let's cut to the chase. Tammy Doe, let's go. Audio jump. The reason why I share my story and just a strong pull is because I want to give those 
who are searching and looking for answers like what is their purpose in life like should they leave society or leave this mundane matrix and go after their dreams and if they did stepping into into the unknown would they make it well this seven months of me in Vietnam and being able to document it I can honestly tell you that the universe works in miraculous ways. There are times when I can't even explain how things manage to line up the way they did. And it just blows my mind that, oh my gosh, why, why aren't people doing this more often? Even though like it's so scary. But when I went to Vietnam, I knew there was something for me to do there and also someone to find. And by the time I left, I believe I found both. One thing that I want you to have ingrained in your system and to fully, fully, to fully understand this is understand water, right? I mentioned it in almost all my episodes, Dr. Emoto's rice water experiment. One thing that you really want to know is water has memory. Each emotion has their own memory. The glass of water and rice that were saying negative thoughts to negative thoughts and feelings that goes into these it's not so much about the word the word is there but what emotions what feelings which energy you're setting into the rice makes it either makes it mold or makes it ferment that's the key right if you are constantly telling yourself negative thoughts if it can make rice mold what do you think it does to our body that's made of 70 percent water well I, I realized that hey my name is Tammy Doe. Doe, 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 Doe. Tammy Doe, Doe, Doe. That memory of the water is constantly in my blood. I'm vibrating at the Doe energy. So maybe that deer was attracted to me because here I am with a Doe vibration and all these stones and crystals in the car amplified it. Could that be possible? So that's with my last name, Do. Let's decode my Vietnamese. So my Vietnamese name, when I first came to America, was when I was around three to four years old. During middle school, I was being bullied and kids, and kids are really mean. I was bullied and made fun of for my name being Tram. At that point, like, I didn't know much English. People would make fun of the way I pronounce words. And I decided that maybe I should change my name to Tammy. Maybe I'll make me fit in. But during middle school, I was bullied. So I changed my name to Tammy Doe. Now, looking back at how my life unfolded, I still have the energy of Tram. So what Tram means in Vietnamese is Jam Hung, which is this very old, old tree. It's, it's a very expensive wood. If you look it up, it's Jam Hung, it's agra wood. And it's actually illegal to cut down some of these trees to get their wood, the energy of this tree is like an old soul, right? So for me, how I interpret it is tree has lived through thousands of years. And now looking back at my life, I've always resonated with old people. When I first getting started in my career, like I would always go to this nursing home and I was a part of this Vietnamese chamber. I would always go to a nursing home and just like hang out with these elderly people. And when I was doing landmark education, this project that came into mind where I thought, well, I want to do something special for them because just being there, talking to them, they have so much wisdom and also that they're just very lonely and they just want someone to talk to. And I thought it'd be like this great idea if I were to, you know, recruit like a group of us like every Friday to to go bring flowers to these nursing homes. No idea how this is gonna fold. And then uh, I end up going to Whole Foods. And at that point, you know, flowers are really expensive. And then I found out that Whole Foods dispenses all their flowers every once or twice a week. Like even if they have a little like brownish on the flower, sometimes when they just dispense these flowers, they're still really, really healthy. Like you can't even tell. And so I talked to the manager. They agreed to give us all the flowers that they're gonna just throw away basically. And these are still very, very beautiful flowers. And so I was like, all right, I'll come by, I'll come by every Friday and I'll pick up the flowers. I want every 
woman to have an opportunity to receive flowers once in their lifetime. And so I started this project, I named it the Forever Young Project. So here I am, originally it was just me and these buckets and buckets of flowers. I brought them to the nursing home and as it started unfolding, I started posting on Facebook, creating this group like, hey, um, anybody wants to go arrange flowers for this nursing home, like it would mean a lot to these elderly people. It started with like just me and then now a couple more people. And so every Friday, I would just go gather up all these flowers and the volunteers would show up at the nursing home and we would just arrange these flowers, even though like none of us knows how to arrange flowers. But something in that was just so fulfilling for me and the people that volunteered. These elderly people were like waiting patiently at the tables during the activity time and just waiting us for come to come and and like sometimes we let them arrange the flowers themselves. But it was such a It was just a very fulfilling moment in my life. And I did that for a couple months. And then just being in the financial world, it was all commission based. And so I decided to stop it for a while to really focus on my business because if I wasn't earning to produce money, I would have like not have any money to support myself. And so I guess it was t perfect timing too because Whole Foods just eventually cut us off and say, hey, we, like due to safety laws, like we can't give away all these flowers, so we're just gonna throw them away. And so I just took it as science. I wish I could fulfill it even more, but maybe I learned what I need to learn during this time period. And I, it was about a couple, we did it for like two or three months. I even had Forever Young tattooed on my rib on the side, because that's how much this project meant to me. The next letter in my name, Ngaup. Ngaup means crystals. I didn't really chose to fulfill this path until this past year. I feel like I was being called to get tuned in, get online, and start fulfilling my life purpose. Right? As I see my life unfold, it just makes me question everything I thought I knew. Maybe we are here on earth to learn a lesson and to really align with ourselves to fulfill our purpose. Now, play for me, how my dad described to me is crying. Honestly, this last year, stepping into unknown, honestly, this past year, I've cried so much, not understanding like where this is gonna take me. My family didn't understand. No one would, no one had the answer to why this stone is so powerful. Like the more digging I do about Moldavite, the more I get tuned in, no one gave me the answer I was looking for. So honestly, this whole entire trip in Vietnam was a self-discovery for me. I actually went to a bunch of temples, talked to a bunch of monks, brought them my crystals and asked them, like, can you, can you tell me if there's anything here? If I'm going to distribute these crystals and work with these stones, like, can you tell me if it's like a good or negative force? Like, just somebody please tell me. I know I'm not going crazy, right? There's something in the stones that just alters the energy field around me, I don't know what it is yet. And during that trip in Vietnam, seeing these synchronicities that I can't explain. And so no one really understood me. So lay means tears. This past year, I cried more than I have ever cried in my entire life. And then that deer accident happened. Doe, deer, a female deer. Like, how do you explain this? So as my Vietnamese name unfolded, Tammy, I just recently found out what Tammy meant. And I just keep it to myself. If you want to find out what Tammy means, feel free to go look it up. I do encourage you to go look up your own name to what your name means. Let's wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed my story as it unfold. I'm so glad I documented this last seven months in Vietnam because if I had it, Sometimes I would just like think to myself, like, what am I doing? But because I was able to document and create these videos for you guys, it really brought me present to there is something grander at play. Wrapping it up, I want to share with you the raffle ends tomorrow for the activated mold device that I brought to the Father's Temple. 
I don't know what it is, but I know that Father's Temple there, there's an open vortex, there's a portal where energy came down. That I, I felt. I fasted three days before I went there and something about these stones, as I gave them to the correct person, things just manifest so quick, quickly around us. And another way that you can help support me, I'm is starting to make these wire wrap Moldavite pendants, right? And I'm selling it on my Etsy shop. And like I shared with you in my previous video, you can have a stone, put it on the table and put it in your purse, that's fine. But to effectively tune in and be tuned into this crystal is to have it on your body. And I would highly recommend getting it around your heart chakra because this is the ultimate stone for the heart chakra, blasting open every other one of your chakra. And by one of having one of these stones from me, you're actually tuning in to some of my energy. Right. And we're creating some kind of crystal grid as I start distributing these crystals to people around the world. So there's already a handful of friends and family that has some of my stones in Vietnam. And then now I'm creating grids with these Moldavites here in the US. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but take a look of what's going on in our environment, right? Trees are being cut down. This climate change thing, people are like, they think it's a joke, but when you are tuned in, and typically when I fast, I feel, I feel the energy of how much Mother Earth is suffering. I don't know if this makes sense to you, but as they're cutting down the trees, wiping it out, the Amazon, in Indonesia, there's a big wipeout too. The tree is what creates this atmospheric layer on our Earth's atmosphere. So if our atmosphere is being altered, what do you think can puncture through from space? And I will leave it there. That's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you can help and support me by getting one of these uh, Moldavite pendants. Thank you for everyone that supported me and already bought, got a pendant for me. That is all I have for you guys today. Next episode, I'm gonna go over numerology and how your life path and how to start tuning in with your crystals, particularly Moldavite. Tammy Doe, signing off.